man, I know you got something you need to get off your chest. What do you mean? It was a report that came out <laughs> by Fox Sports One reporter. I thought we were just gonna come in here and talk scared. Nah, before. nah, nah. I know, I know how you feel, man. <laughs> Listen, I already I was following the the Corona Madden League, and I saw the quarterback controversy that's that's been brewing. And then I seen a report come out from was it Jay Glazer on a certain quarterback, and I said, you know what? There is one guy that I know for a fact has something to say, has something to get off his chest in regard to that report. I mean, do tell, do tell. Well, I think everyone knows in Steeler Nation yeah. what happened. It was Jay Glazer. I think he's a Fox analyst. Yeah. He's out there. I don't know if he's switching companies or what. And <laughs> he's all over. The, uh, no, he's on The Athletic, actually. He used to be Fox, I mm, think. Okay. He's 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 out there. We know he's he's a football analyst. One of the big guys. One of the big, <laughs> one of the big guys. One of the big guns in the <laughs> industry. So he came out and said, actually, yeah, I do have a few things for this. Here we go. Here we go, Deke. All right. Because there's just some things he's missing with his answer here. So someone prompted him with a question. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a Twitter question, an email question, some type of mailbag. They said, uh, George F., actually, I feel like the Steelers are a real sleeper team this year. Their defense was really solid last year. It feels loaded. The offense suffered hard because of Ben's injury, but assuming he's back to eight, even 85% plus the fitness show they should be in a very competitive position. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't know if this is grammatically correct. <laughs> anyway, he so Glazer goes, first of all, let's not put the words fitness and Ben Roethlisberger together. They are allergic to each other. There's no fitness in Ben Roethlisberger. His idea of a great off-season workout program is doing one yoga session, playing golf, and drinking some beer. Uh, Jeez, see, is that all he said? That's God, what he said, God. and then he goes, see, I didn't read the rest of this, to be honest with you. This is the first time I'm actually reading the rest of the paragraph. <laughs> However, yes, what Mike Tomlin and Ben, Roth- ben Roethlisberger have done there has been incredible. Tomlin has never had a losing season with the Steelers. I want fans of other cities to realize that. Never had a losing season since he's been with Pittsburgh. Despite injuries, and they're obviously not the most aggressive team when it comes to free agency, having Bell holding out A-B situation, it's incredible. He's changed coordinators, gone through offensive coaches, defensive coordinators, but the dude has never had a losing season. Don't sleep on them. Okay. I didn't read the rest of that before. So you feel it a little better? Uh, no, not really still, because <laughs> he, he brought up Tomlin. He was talking about Tom, Tomlin. They're together, though. He was, he was speaking of the Yeah, both, with you know? together, but he still, ripped, he still ripped on Ben, especially with the whole <laughs> fitness aspect. And he's discrediting the guy's question and, because he's bringing up the fitness element as mm-hmm. like, all right, yeah, this is kind of like an extra caveat to the season yeah. because we know – we know Ben. That's not. That is not part of his necessarily regimen, from what we know of. I, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but right, right. you're not having Ben as your quarterback for the off season or for his workout program. Right. You have Ben for wins, and Ben balls out when it's game time. That's yeah. what you have him for. So yeah. the question he's saying, all right, if Ben just gets back to eighty five percent of mm-hmm. what he was. Plus the fitness that's been going on in the off season yeah. that we're seeing the videos, and in my opinion, he does look leaner despite other people saying he's not. It's just the beard yeah. that's masking that. Okay. So I think he he brings up good points, and he yeah. and Glazer just completely discredits those points and and kind of pivots and says, yeah, just Tom, what Tomlin have and Ben have done up to this point is is great. So I think. <laughs> Y'all take it too personal, man. It was funny. I mean, we we texted about it. It is it is funny, but I mean, come on, man. I think y'all just taking the whole anytime somebody says something about Ben way too personal. He just made some fun about the whole fitness element because we have all joked about the fitness element when it comes to Big Ben and how you know each year going into training camp is like, is he in shape? Is he bigger, Ben? Is he smaller, Ben? But it's just Ben. We already know, man. When it comes down for time for him to win, he does what needs to be done. And Jay did get to that at the end part. He just started out a little heavy-handed, very, very heavy-handed in the beginning. Yeah, but like I said, it, 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 it seemed like he was talking more about Tomlin, and he he Got sprinkled Ben in a little bit. There. But you, you you can't speak on Tomlin's success as a head coach without a direct correlation to Ben, because who's been? Com, uh, Coach Thomas, quarterback, throughout his whole tenure here in Pittsburgh. Right. Like, but the, this is I, the longest he's been without Ben as quarterback was this past season when he got hurt. Was it six quarters into the season? 
other than that, he's always had him. You know what I mean? And I think that element. So when you're speaking of his success, you you're giving Ben a compliment as well. Yeah, he just <laughs> he just used that as like a safe argument though. Like, oh, these guys have been better than eight and eight all the time in the past. Mm-hmm. So I just expect that. But yeah. this guy brings up a good point in his question. That's all I'm saying. And he kind of discredits that, where <laughs> that being a kind of a reason why they could be a sleeper. All right, I'm with it, man. I do think there is something to this new fitness here. <laughs> I do think, I do think there is something I, to I'm it. I'm with it, bro. <laughs> I, I think they're going to have a ton of success this year. Like, That's what I'm excited about either way. Fitness or not, however y'all, because I feel like it's a lot that goes into the word fitness. Like, are we talking AB, Le'Veon fitness? Are we talking some other people and what they consider to be fitness? You know what I mean? Like, everybody's different with their fitness, man. It is all different. It is perspective. I'm yeah. not opposed to it. As long as he produces, he could be 700 pounds. Exactly. Just go out here and ball out. That's all I care about. At the, I mean, at the end of the day, it was it was kind of a funny comment, <laughs> but I didn't I didn't necessarily. You laughed. I did laugh. We, we laughed together. <laughs> I did laugh. But yeah, it's how the simmer on that thing was like. You know what? How it comes how off you is like say that about my man's like that. How it comes off is like, yeah, you know, Ben's washed or, you know, he... No, he ain't going that far, He's not man. balling. That's what it comes off no, as. No, man. He ain't come on. He just simply made a rebuttal to the up. fitness part of it. But then he compliments Ben and Tom and the rest of the statement, man. Okay. He does. Okay. He believes in seven. He said they're going to win. He did he say s- that. He said they're a sleeper. He did say they're a sleeper. <laughs> he, said, say, he said, he's on your team too, man. <laughs> I don't know. Put it a better way. <laughs> I wish better. Twitter would have been out with with Jerome Bettis was playing. I wanted to hear what, if they would call him fitness and how they would say that. That's a good point. You, you know, out. yeah. If you ball out, you ball out. Yeah. I don't care. Because I mean, when frame you look me, at frame me some wins on Sunday. You look at the bus. The bus didn't have the the physique of L. B. You know, you show L. B. You got. 300 abs on him, like yeah yeah bussy never looked like that but no. you know the bus is gonna produce bus a hall of famer yep i wonder what they say the same thing oh is he has his fitness regime this off season and things like that you know man as long as you balling out though that's all that matters that's how i look at it and i think at the end of the article jay did hint to that man i just think he came in way he real heavy-handed at the beginning <sighs> Steeler fans were sensitive right now, though. We're, very, we're very. at a especially when it comes to we're, we're at a weird point right now. <laughs> we just want to get to the season. We but, just but but get to the season and seven has to produce. It can't be anything less than him being him, because then it it the doubt starts to come in. Like, all right, is this the last run? Like, is last it over? Dance. Like, <laughs> like is this the swan song? Like, what's going on here? So. I understand, man. That's why I'm staying over here. I don't want no problems, man. I know how y'all are right there's, now. There's there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of tension. There's man, a lot of if, if somebody liked the wrong comment on Twitter about seven, <laughs> man, it can start a whole riot. I've seen it. <laughs> yep. No, definitely. Definitely. We're, we are uh, we're very defensive right now. <laughs> very defensive. Hey, but it's it's pure. That's that's the beauty of sports, though. Like when you see diehard fans get like that, you respect that you want it to be like, you'd rather be like that than the other way where nobody cares. Everybody's just super nonchalant about it. Like, ah, oh, you can talk about our quarter. I don't care about him. Like, no, oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. yeah. We're passionate. Absolutely. The cliche fan short for fanatics. So what do you do? It's true. It's it, very true. It helps keep the industry, the NFL running. Yeah. 